do the, the right way to test the hydraulic mount to see if it holds before you install the actual mount itself. Um, it'll either have a vacuum line that goes under it or a vacuum line on the top where you can connect the hand pump vacuum. Now, the service manual for the dealer says we have to get it up to 20, 20 and then let it hold to see if it holds for over 20 seconds. If it holds for over 20 seconds, it's good. I just tested the, the whole system. I actually bought back lines from the dealer where I'm actually going to replace all the back lines for the mount. I'm going to make another video for that. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a video for that showing how to replace all the back lines for the engine mounts because they're really old and I, I just want to replace them. So right now what I'm going to do is um, show you how to test the mount. So right now I'm just going to put the nipple inside of the, the hose. Just bear with me. I'm not using the tripod today. I'm using my cell phone camera. This is a spur of the moment video. Okay. So now I'm gonna pump the gauge. See how it's holding? It's holding, showing that the mount is good. The suction on the mount, the hydraulic mount is good. Now, if it was bad, you would see the drop like that. So what I did was I just hit this valve, this released the pressure. So I'm gonna pump it again to test it. And you see it's holding on 20. That means it's good. That's how you test an hydraulic mount. That's how you test it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe.